Hi guys! After understanding the switch in Arduino, this time we'll proceed to buzzer. So what is a buzzer? A buzzer, by the way guys, or a beeper, is an audio signaling device, which may be mechanical, electromechanical, or piezoelectric. Um, the piezo, by the way, this is the term used in the Tinkercad. So no need for you to search for buzzer or a speaker. All you need to do is to search for piezo. Okay? In actual, um, since in Tinkercad we only have piezo, in actual, by the way, guys, in your Arduino kit, you have two types of buzzer there. We have passive and we also have an active buzzer. When we say passive buzzer have no coated shield at the bottom so no coated shield here at the bottom and on the top it says plus sign a plus sign actually indicates that the pin on that lower part is actually the positive sign okay so when we talk about pass um, active buzzer active buzzer has a coated shield at the bottom and have a long leg to identify that is a positive pin. This is actually similar to LED light. The longest tail or the longest leg, it, um, it is actually a positive, uh, it contains a positive signal and the, uh, and the shortest leg, that is actually the negative one. Okay, so let's try create um, a circuit that, in that works with buttons and switch oh, sorry switch and buzzer so we will have the these materials from the breadboard arduino uno microcontroller a led light a switch a seven connecting wires a resistor and also a buzzer so basically if the user press the switch it will switch on the led light aside from switching on the led light it will also make a sound or make a tone in our piezo or buzzer. So let's do it. So since we already created this project earlier, one moment, since we already created this project earlier, we only need to add the one. We will only need to add the speaker or the buzzer or the piezo and yeah, only the piezo, right? But for um, demonstration purposes, I think it's better if I will remove it and we will start again. Okay? Mm -hmm. One moment. Okay. Let's start again. One moment. I'll be using this again. Mm -hmm. Okay, one moment. So after that, I'm still the same, just like what we did earlier. We're making the black wire as the negative part then after that we are passing the negative to the lead light here uh, we need to look for a lead let's go to the bottom part of it let's do something like this okay that's negative already on the resistor one moment Let's look for resistor. Okay. On the resistor part, I will put that one here. Then there should be a connection from resistor going to number or pin number 7. Digital pin number 7. The positive pin, that should be the red one. There you go. Okay, actually you can change the colors of the wires, it really depends on you. Okay, so aside from that, um, I will be inserting my switch. One moment. 
I will be inserting my switch there this is the push button I'll be turning it 180 degrees there so after that I will be passing um, I will be looking uh, I will be connecting a wire from the negative charge here going here so I'll be changing that one to black then here since this is I'm sorry I will put that one here in number eight I know I know the fact earlier um, diba? um earlier I put the wire here then the negative here right I'm actually changing it let's see if it still works Okay, so after that, um, since I'm good with this, I'll go ahead and put and look for a piezo here. This is actually the piezo there. So I'll go ahead and put the piezo here, there. Here, just like what I said, if you will um, tap or hover your mouse cursor to the tip of your pin you can see they're positive and this one it's negative so again the positive should be coming from the pin so the pin here uh, no the the connection from the positive of your piezo should be connected to the hybrid digital pin number nine or hybrid number nine you can see hybrid because of the um, because of this sign, we say hybrid, it can do both analog and digital. So since that is positive, I'll be changing that one to red. So after that, um, I will be passing through a negative charge there. I'll be changing that one to black, then black here going here okay so from the ground here so passing through that one here there there okay so let's start coding it so actually this is similar just like what we did earlier we just added the buzzer okay so for example int button equals 8 int lead equals 7 in buzzer or the piezo equals the 9 because I use the digital um, the hybrid pin number 9 so void set up okay there I'll put here void loop the void setup just like what we did earlier um, pin mode then button button is our input then digital right so that oh, we can start the, the, the LED light sorry um, this is the LED the LED light first it will hide then basically this is the turn on pull up next pin mode and this is still the lead the lead it's the output part next one oh no why i'm doing the lead here it should be the button the button here should be turn pull up ah, turn on pull up basically um, it will set that the that the button um, will start from high okay sorry next pin mode then put the buzzer the buzzer it's still our output so we have two outputs and one input which is the button here so if digital read um, button it's low uh, yeah 
we will go ahead and we will go ahead and put the digital digital right um, this should be the LED should be in high so that it will turn on the LED light or switch on the LED light after switching on the LED light we will now start making a tone to our buzzer or piezo so it should be the buzzer comma then 880 and 200 um, actually I'm just um, putting the tone of 69 so basically for this one it will play tone um, a5 so it contains 880 like that okay so after so once the user press the button um, it will turn on the LED light then of course it will uh, make a sound or make a tone else what it will do else it will of course it will turn off or switch off the LED light to make by the way to make the tone turned off or at least my silent mode na in your speaker or in your piezo all you need to do is to use the no tone with a capital T then buzzer okay so let's try checking it if there is something wrong I think we're all good here so let's start simulating so I'll click start simulation in content ration guys after I click um, after I click start simulation I figured out that we had an issue where we had a bug so if you will see I did not change the high here and else we need to change this one to low okay so let's start simulating it so in simulating it let's try there off on off on off on off there you go it's working fine 